Hello, welcome to Unboxing. Uh, today we have a new uh, variant, a new uh, quadcopter. Well, some time ago I reviewed the Xixan X6, which is a very nice platform, very sporty and can carry any mobile camera. Well, today we be the, in fact, the camera version of this model and uh, it has been rebranded by GGRC. So this is the X6 um, model or, uh, as you can see, it's written somewhere well, on the box. Uh, it's also rebranded by GGRC by H16 5D because this is a 5 megapixel camera version. So uh, here is a box. If you compare to the original of the exam, it's a much more compact box. So, and you have the same quadcopter. So of course uh, you have to reassemble. Uh, when you receive this box, you have to reassemble your quadcopter. You have to install the props. You have to install the landing gears. You have to install the the, the prop guard if you want. So what you will find in the box? You will find the quadcopter. Okay, already pre-installed some stuff. Already pre-installed the landing gears. Okay, so you have two screw there. Two screw here to attach and I already screw the camera on the camera anti-vibration mount there and attach to the doors of the battery bay like this. Okay, so uh, I didn't yet install the prop guards like this, okay, which are here. So what you also will find on the box, we will find these plastic uh, prop guards, okay. So you will have to screw on them on two parts here, okay, and to also to uh, use the uh, color uh, transparent uh, plastic caps to uh, uh, enlight uh, your quadcopter for night flying. So uh, you will receive four of them, as well as these uh, uh, two red and two blue uh, plastic uh, caps like this. What also you will receive, this is this uh, power uh, charger in order to uh, charge your uh, LiPo battery. Uh, it's uh, charging your LiPo battery uh, with the uh, uh, balancer plug of your uh, batteries. So the battery here is uh, 2S uh, LiPo. Uh, announced to be 1200 milliamps per hour and rated as 30 C. So that's a good news. You have a high uh, discharge rate for such uh, toy squad capture. So uh, it's a relatively good uh, LiPo. Um, you have two connectors one a GST okay, and the balancer plug in order to uh, recharge your, uh, your LiPo. It's taking something like one hour uh, with such a uh, uh, power adapter. Uh, what also you will find, you will find a screwdriver, well, not uh, so bad model, in order to install your landing gears, your uh, props and so on. You will find with the four props also back with four spare ones, two clockwise and two quarter clockwise, and you will find also inside this um, multi-bag a USB uh, micro SD card reader, okay, and uh, for the camera, the ships with the 8 gigabytes micro SD card. So this is a good news. You have to insert on the back of your camera module. Okay, like this. And finally, you will find some bags with some screw to attach, for example, the prop guard I didn't attach yet. So, uh, well, one word about these prop guards. Well, if you don't want to fly with them, uh, the main problem is that you, will, you won't be able to uh, enjoy the uh, uh, transparent plugs. Maybe you can directly screw uh, here the, the, the plastic caps, but the screw, uh, the head of the screw, are too tiny and it won't be able to, to fix them with the uh, provided screw. You probably can do it with some other uh, screw with a larger head. So, it is maybe a small drawback, but in the other hand, the, the prop guards are pretty light, so it's not uh, a big problem, big deal to, to handle them, especially if you are a beginner. So here's a quadcopter, exactly the same than the non-camera version, well, I receive it in a black edition, so not, not, it's not a problem. So the main novelty is here, this is the camera. Okay, so the 5 megapixel uh, version, it's, it's announced to, to be a, a to have a wide lens and offering uh, uh, HD format uh, videos. So here the camera, as you can see, you, you have the uh, lens who can be uh, adjusted in orientation. So, but naturally, as you can see, the orientation is more targeting the ground. Well, when you are flying forward, it means that you will 
especially more focused on the ground. So for me, it's not a really good point. So uh, I think you will need to mode a little bit to insert something here between to uh, block, to fix the orientation of the lens more, it's paradoxically, more uh, into the direction of the sky because when you will have the forward movement, it will uh, compensate a bit the uh, the uh, the, um, uh, the orientations. Okay, so uh, you have to install this camera module. It can be unclips like this on the uh, anti-vibration mount. Okay, so with some dampening ball there, you have to screw there. So use a magnetic. I think the the provided screwdriver is magnetic. So it's a bit tricky to install the four uh, screw there, and it's assumed to absorb uh, most of the jello effect. Well, uh, when you clip after the camera, uh, when I, I perform my first set, I observe a lot of jello. So, unfortunately, it's not working efficiently. So, I don't know why. Uh, maybe because the props are not completely balanced, but it can explain everything. So, uh, for me, there are at least two explanations. Well, the props are not completely balanced, and also the camera is still. Um, uh, vibrating around this uh, x-axis here and here. So, well, definitively, I strongly advise to uh, to use such kind of form. You know, you're receiving with your parcel. So, if you can build, you can cut some parts, build some layer, absorbing layer, and to insert, for example, between uh, the camera mount uh, anti-vibration and the camera. So, you will be able to enter, for example, like this. Okay, I will pre-install the camera. If I'm not blind, okay, like this, sorry. Um, okay, like this. So if you insert some piece of foam between, okay, like this, you will be able to absorb most of the vibration and you will have also to insert some piece of foam between these two parts. I, I will put this here. So if you can block, in these cases, you will block the uh, lens and absorb also some extra vibration here. So please insert some foam here, like this, a piece of foam. Like I will do it in live, but like this, you can do it much better in be much better way. But um, like this, okay. So maybe you cut in two and so on. I don't. I won't. I will do it in more in a photo session and and to and, and to check the validity of my. Hypothesis. So, um, well, concerning the camera uh, module itself, it's announced to be a 5 megapixel. It's true. Uh, it's um, outputting uh, a, um, full HD format, so 1980 by 1080. So it's true. But uh, it's also assumed to be a wide lens. And, uh, well, unfortunately uh, for me, it's not a wide lens. It's absolutely not. It's uh, the field of view is, well, not fantastic, but not wide at, at all. So, as you can see, you can see really uh, any white, um, um, convex um, uh, shape of the lens. It's uh, more or less flat, and the field of view for me is something like 60 degrees. So, it's not really fantastic to uh, to are uh, in uh, close to the ground. Maybe in high altitude you can have nice pictures. Okay, so thanks to the very good range of this X6, uh, the um, uh, in high altitude the the photo uh, the video will be nice. But if you're planning to uh, to fly below 30 meters high. Uh, you will be probably disappointed by the field of view of this camera. Uh, more uh, uh, due to the jello effect. Uh, I think uh, the, um, uh, you will be a little bit disappointed by this uh, uh, camera module. So I have to make some further investigation, some modes. So out of the box, you will need to mode this camera to reduce the general effect and to increase uh, the field of view. So I will check now by disassembling the camera uh, which kind of lens mount it's associated with. So I hope it's a, a so-called M7. So you will be able to screw a new lens, new wide lens, and uh, to, when you will install a new lens, uh, there will be a, another positive effect. Um, you know, um, any camera module, the processor is adapting the uh, lights in real time by uh, estimating the light conditions. And when you have a narrow field of view, uh, this estimation is done very periodically, very often. So you can see on the video a lot of light uh, uh, 
uh, uh, changes in your video. So when you will use a wider lens, uh, the estimation will be more uh, smooth over time and uh, you will have less such kind of light transition in your video, very annoying sometimes. So this is another positive to use another uh, wide lens. So, uh, what also I, uh, I would have been very positively uh, uh, impressed uh, because this is an excellent quad capture, one of the best of the early 215. Uh, excellent range, very sporty, very stable flyer, one of the best. While it's noisy, but uh, it's okay. You can swap a, man, uh, a motor very easily. You have two screws to access to the motor and you have just to re remove the connector. It's very easy. Um, but what is very annoying, uh, it's how to install the, uh, uh, the battery. You have to first to remove the battery doors to install the, 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 um, the battery like this, okay? After you have to push all the cable in, inside and after to use the battery doors, so you have to wait many seconds before. Okay, like this, it's not very trivial. After, uh, if you don't want to break over time the, ca the, the plug, you have now to, to plug the camera wire or connector like this. It's not very trivial. Okay, now the camera is power on, and after you have to bind your quadcopter. So you lose many seconds. Okay, um, I can use my Devo controller because it's using the so-called V2X2 protocol. So it's not a problem. So you have to bind. Uh, you can bind with uh, any modded Devo, Devo controller using the V2X protocol. Okay, as you can see, it's working. I can. Uh, you can um, uh, um, calibrate gyroscope by going in sport mode and pressing both stick in lower left position and you will see the quadcopter will flash fast like this. Okay, do it on a flat surface to calibrate your gyroscope and after it's done. Okay, uh, I will use the original transmitter. This is the original one. Uh, this is a Benma uh, Zian, uh, Zigzan sorry, uh, chassis. So if you have a Benma helicopter, you will recognize the shape of the chassis. Uh, you have a mini LCD, you can turn off. Okay, I will bind the helicopter like this. Okay. Uh, okay, I have to restart the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the quadcopter. Sorry. So each time you have a problem, you have to remove everything. It's pretty annoying to not have any power sh switch. So each time you have to do that, it's very annoying. So I don't like, I would have dreamed to have a power switch to uh, make this task more easily uh, for to power your cup copter. It's over, over time is very annoying and of course you can do it by installing a micro switch. It's uh, very uh, more comfortable with. It's a basic mode you have to do like this. So now it's more or less power on. Okay. Okay, now it is bind with this, uh, the default radio. So here you have a button to turn off and off the light. Okay. Okay, now you can turn on and off. Here you can start the camera here by this button. And you will see that the LEDs of the camera, actually blue, will turn, will change. Okay, as you can see, the, you have the flash inside the camera with flashing. Okay, and blue flashing. And if you press again, you stop the recording. The upper button is to take a pictures. Okay, you have a, a transient blue light. Okay, indicating you have you took pictures. And here, uh, this is the um, uh, headless mode here. Okay. Uh, sorry. You are sorry. When you press this button, you are entering in headless mode. It's emitting beep, and the flat and the quadcopter is uh, flashing like this. And if you press again, you stop the headless mode. Uh, here it's to uh, select the speed mode. So you have three rate, 40%, 60%, and 100 in sportive mode. And here is to flips. Okay, like this, I don't want to do it. So I will show how to calibrate gyroscope. Go in 100 mode, for example, and push both stick. And you will see that the quad is now also calibrated with this remote not a problem at all now. So if you have some drifts, uh, etc., do this procedure, you will, uh, you, will, uh, uh, you, you will have a better option. 
Okay, so, um, well, to resume um, uh, this uh, second update of this uh, review of this uh, Xan X6, um, actually, out of the box, the camera version is uh, not completely useful, not fantastic, but it got, it got a good potential. So you definitely need to mode uh, your uh, camera mount in order to absorb most of the vibrations. Well, you are, you are, um, this is a great flyer, uh, wind resistance, great range, you can have to have up to 300 meters, okay? If you have a good radio and you're positioning well your, 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 um, your antenna, but uh, as you can see, uh, it's pretty annoying to each time to remove the, the batteries, you know? So sometimes it's a little bit painful like this. So definitely you will need to do a mode switch also to install a mode, a power switch. It will be uh, make your life more easier. Um, concerning, um, uh, you don't have any balls bearing installed in the uh, be on the shaft, so uh, you can install some. Actually, there are only some um, uh, oil bushing, so called. You can install some ball bearings with um, inner diameter of three millimeters, outer is six, and the width is two millimeters. So it's pretty standard. Uh, you can find some in Banggood if you want or in the other place. Uh, it will reduce friction and increase the durability of your motor. Uh, the motor are exactly the same time that the uh, V2 uh, 62, 3 and so on. Uh, exactly the same time. Uh, I strongly advise to order at least one clockwise and one uh, counterclockwise counter motors uh, as pair, so one for example here and one here, one uh, clockwise and one counterclockwise, sorry. And uh, well, uh, only the pinion and the shaft are a little bit different compared to the V262, but uh, it's more or less the same type, N50. Um, what I can say about it, um, well, uh, if you have already a Mobius camera, uh, I don't really advise to take the camera version because you will be uh, at the end more or less disappointed by this module. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, if if you plan to do such kind of mode to insert the form here and here, uh, I guess you will probably have um, the nice videos uh, and you should also probably install a wider lens. Okay, so uh, my advice is maybe to add maybe 20 more bucks and to buy a Mobius camera and uh, instead of this uh, full camera versions because uh, it's not normal that out of the box you can meet some jellos and uh, uh, the, the, it was announced to be wide lens but it's not really the case it's I have something 60 degrees field of view out of the box is not really uh, uh, very very good you need at least 110 will be Perfect. Uh, but when it's stabilized, this um, camera is offering nice uh, HD, um, full HD format, so it's not bad at, at least. So, okay, so um, compared to the Saima X80, which I receive often a lot of questions about it, this model is more sporty, uh, the range is excellent, and uh, it can carry something like 100 grams okay, of payload, not so much more, because you will stress too much the motor. So maybe a small GoPro. Or, uh, Xiaomi cams, but nothing much more. So, and be aware that you will impact and you will stress a lot the motors, even with such uh, camera. Okay, so I will end this um, small new unboxing of the camera version of the Zigzan X6 or uh, GGRC H16. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please submit. Bye bye.